Hi everyone, the chateau we're going to look at today, which I'm just about to start the video for, is a stunning 19th century, beautifully renovated, it's newly renovated as well, and it's set in a 30 hectare park with lakes, outbuildings, a swimming pool, and it even has its own hunting license. So without further ado, let's go and have a look. So you can see the chateau there from the air. You see the beautiful surrounding countryside. Um, this chateau is set in the Entre Loire region, uh, which is stunning. It's very, very close uh, for Tours, which is the big city for airports, etc. Um, and you can see the grounds here that we're looking at, and that is a typical 19th century style chateau, beautifully renovated. Everything is new, including the roofs there. Now this chateau, um, although it's completely isolated where it is, is not far from the city of Loche. Uh, Loche is a beautiful historical town. Um, it's got a huge fortified chateau in the middle of it. Um, lovely restaurants, lots of little brocants, and lots of shops, and it's not too far from that. Love that statue. So as you can see, as we go into the chateau, it's very, very typical of the style of the 19th century. Um, everything is new. The floors are beautifully polished and the marquetry in the floors is wonderful. 19th century, completely renovated fireplaces, all intact, all original. Uh, even the mirrors there, as you can see, are from the 19th century. Coming into a dining room, as you can see, another 19th century fireplace. Now this is wonderful, this is a great big kitchen. Um, I love a kitchen and a good cup of tea there, you can see. Um, the kitchen is a great size, it's all white, it's all new, uh, so nothing to do at all. Um, it's got a lovely work area and it's also got a dining, dining area within the kitchen itself. I like their style, they've got lots of fun things. I don't know if you noticed the teapots and the, and the cups on the, on the draining board there. Now here we're coming into what would have been the drawing room. You can see a wonderful, huge fireplace there. Very, very typical of that era. And the beautiful windows letting in so much light into this room. So it probably would have been, in its time, the drawing room. Now it's filled with art, as you can see, from the current owners. Love that window. And here we have a study area. Um, or a library. It would have been formerly a library, um, now obviously with computers. Now this is one of the bedrooms with a four poster bed. There are actually five bedrooms in total um, and four bathrooms in the actual main chateau itself. And then we've got coming into a different style. As you notice, the, uh, the other bedroom was much more in keeping with the 19th century furniture. This is a lot more modern. This isn't going into the tower, into the roof line. So you've got the exposed beams, which are beautiful, very, very high ceilings, and a balcony overlooking the grounds. You can see the new roof there in perfect condition. Lots of towers. Now here you can see from the air, you can see the swimming pool and the outbuildings. This would make an, a brilliant project. You could convert these into sheets, which are, could be around the swimming pool there, as you can see, which is fairly new. Um, there's still work to be done here, as you can see on some of the small outbuildings, but there's so much potential uh, to make this into a lovely holiday set of cottages um, to go with the pool. And they're set nicely away from the chateau, so it's a good business opportunity.
I don't know if you're aware, but we actually have over 100 chateaus on our books at the moment. Um, so is that the type of style that you like? I'd love to hear your comments. That was particularly 19th century epoch style, um, but perhaps you would like the neoclassic 18th century style, or even the flamboyant Gothic 15th century style. Um, so do drop your comments below and let us know what type of chateaus you'd like to have a look at. And we will hopefully get out and film some of those lovely chateaus that we have on our books at the moment. See you next time time.